box on top is an Amazon sale. It's little uh, like porcelain type figurines for building holiday scenes. Kind of like a big train set deal or you have like people standing in town. This one's called uh, Feeding the Birds. I thought I had eliminated all my non-book type stuff off Amazon. This is one of the first things I ever listed years ago. I was kind of surprised to see it pop up. The bottom two are eBay fishing lures. That's one of the things I like. That's one of the things I like about selling auction style on eBay is you know when your stuff will sell as opposed to out of the blue on a fixed price on eBay or an Amazon. You might have to run across town to make $10, you know, uh, to get it scanned real quick. Like I got to go in here now and get this one scanned, the Amazon one. Normally I could just throw them in here. But uh I gotta make sure the Amazon gets out on time. So like you might have to so like you might find yourself having to go across town. And if you live up north, it could be a real pain to just make ten bucks. That's why I like selling on auction. I'm gonna head over to the curb here in a minute. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me put stuff on the curb. This is not the curb. This is the curb. I know my sign is sweet, isn't it? The reason I chose this storage unit specifically is because it's 24 hour access. It's the only one I know of around where I live that doesn't have gates and stuff, with the exception of where I actually live. But I didn't want to do this at one of my own storage units. So I came here, and as you can see, you can just drive right in anytime you want. It's the Johnson Mini Storage in the city of Johnson. I've been getting some rain lately. It's nice and well lit. Nice bright spotlights around here. And uh, it's in a good, it's not in a sketchy neighborhood or anything. Should be pretty safe for folks. I was thinking we could go through some of these toasts and see what's in here right now. This is just a drop in the bucket of what I can put in here. Um, for those of you that watched my videos a long time ago, I had a store called eshippity.com. I had been suspended from eBay, so I was trying to build my own e-commerce site. And uh, I was stockpiling all this stuff to populate my store to get some exposure on the internet. And then eBay let me back on. And you just, I just can't, no one can, I mean, I'm just one dude. And no one can really compete with eBay and Amazon. There's a place called Etsy that started competing with eBay when eBay was treating their sellers really bad. And uh, eBay seems to have changed their tune quite a bit here lately. But anyways, thought this video I could go through this stuff and show some of it in here uh, I suppose I haven't explained it yet a free tail store so you can just come here and take stuff for free just if you want if you want this monitor just come and get it that, that, I tested that one out it works good if you want these Levi's jeans shorts that have been cut off you can have those if you want this laptop case you can have that if you want this sweet Chicago hoodie sweatshirt, you can have that. It's a notebook paper, you can have that. <laughs> uh, a disclaimer, all this stuff you see, well, not all of it, but the vast majority of it, anyways, is the product of dumpster diving. So this stuff all came out of the dumpster. That's a little disclaimer. I mean, that's really nice stuff, but... You agree to those terms as soon as you open this door and take stuff. Number 81. Combination is 
Actually, I'm going to give away the combination at the end of the video. Somewhere at the end of the video. Sorry to have to make you watch this, but if you're interested, you're going to want to watch this anyways. See what's in this stuff. I, I don't even know what's going to be in some of this stuff. I've had it for so long. <laughs> and there's so much of it. It's not really stuff I want to sell on eBay because when I was building my own site, it's just making listings and selling and packing and shipping all this cheap stuff. You know, you make a few dollars here and a few dollars there on each one of these little items. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep that tripod for myself. That's another point I'll bring up. During this video, I may find items that I want to keep for myself. Like I was saying, I don't know exactly what's all in here. So I'm gonna hold on to that claim to see what's all in here. But this is not a charity. This has nothing to do with a charity at all. I'm gonna make money off the videos I make about this place. And I'm also gonna put a tip jar in here. Uh, let's find a dirty one. You can take these jars, these mason jars if you want. I'm gonna take this one. It's got, got mud in the bottom of it, dirt. And this is gonna be the tip jar. You want to leave me a tip, you can leave me a tip. I'm going to make money off the videos. I'm going to make money off these tips. Hopefully, I'll make money off the tips. You don't have to leave a tip. But, you know, if you come in here and score $100 worth of swag, you know, leave me a little something. That's fine. I meant to bring a piece of paper. I guess I'll just write tip, tip right on it. Let's see if it works. Uh, kind of. Oh, tip's not spelled with an R. <laughs> tip jar is spelled with an r tip jar i'll just set that right there in the middle i'll put a better sign on that eventually oh another thing is is you can have any of these totes you want with the exception of the rubbermaid roughnecks uh the ones i use i want to keep those so i'll probably get some tables in here or something i don't know what i'm gonna do for sure because i want everything in here to be able to be taken by people so i might just put it on the floor and i'll see how quick it stuff turns over and stuff but uh a bicycle helmets this is for making like uh pie doughs and pizza crusts and stuff it's got the different sizes and stuff on there i'm just gonna have to rip through here i don't want to make this video too long i could spend a couple hours in here talking about stuff i suppose you can see it i don't really need to talk about it a whole lot this kind of stuff is going to be basically brand new or else I will just simply wouldn't put it in here Like I say everything came out of the dumpster, but this is stuff that I was gonna sell on my website So it's really nice. You know, this is this is uh, Essentially kind of stuff that, uh, Actually those doorknobs I might keep for myself Depends. Anyways, although it comes out of the dumpster as you can see it's, it's quality stuff. I mean a lot of us is totally brand new. That's the shower caddy for your shower, that little bracket there. And then let's get this stuff in there. Some of this stuff is the stuff I was trying to sell at my flea market booth before I realized how lame that was. That's a neat plate there though. Guess we gotta get rid of the price tags, don't we? I'll probably put some uh, plastic bags over here if you want to stuff, throw stuff in a bag or whatever. Uh, Christmas tree stands. Two of those look like they're brand new. This is a nice little plant. Uh, Dealy Bob. Put your plant on it, although it's missing one of the caster wheels. It's nice. I think it's brand new. You could probably replace one of the wheels, you know. There's a little FM stereo antenna or AM. There's a little Texas Instruments calculator. TI-30XA. There's a little combustion cleaning kit. Brand new. Here's a, here's a pet door. Brand new. The package is a little messed up. Get the price tag. If, see, if you find a price tag on some of this stuff, don't worry about it. It's just left over, don't just ignore it. Some DVDs. I'm gonna keep my hacksaw for now. I might put it back in here later. This goes to a 10 gallon aquarium. Take this back with me. 
Actually, I'm gonna make this my keeper, my keeper tote. With this tip jar, if you're hurting for money and you're in the area and you wanna buy some dinner or something, you can take some money out of the tip jar if you want. I could care less. The only thing I don't want to happen is just some glutton come in here and take everything. <laughs> I was thinking about putting a cheap camera up here and people could uh, like leave a joke or something. Film what they took or something, you know? Like maybe kind of need some nice little golf shoes, foot joists, a like weather stripping, these little brand new pon pon balls, whatever those are. I think they're almost like a hecky sack or I'm not sure exactly what you do with them. There's some of those in there. Plus these pickle tongs. More DVDs. There's all these little refrigerator magnet books. Like babysitter guides and pet emergencies and uh, all kinds of different little neat little books. Nice little post for a bicycle. It almost looks like it's brand new, I think. Uh, who knows what all is in here. There's some discs in here. These are for learning Spanish, I think. I don't know if it's a full set. I think it might be missing a couple, but more DVDs, Stargate. And some nice little dress shoes. These are actually really nice. It's kind of dusty. They've been sitting around for a while, but those are not bad. Bush none. Dress flex. They look like a size 11, maybe. A lampshade. I don't know what that is. Photo eye lamp post adapter kit. I got here Motorola cable modem. That's not bad. I could sell that on eBay pretty easily. You want to have that? You can have that. One of those VTech uh, children's dealy bobs. It's like an educational something or other. Let's see what's in there. There's actually a nice game in there. Flash Disney Pixar cars. I don't know if that works or not. If you come here and take something and leave a tip, take it home and you're not happy with it, just bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back and take something else worth that amount of money or take your tip back or whatever, you know. Some keyboards in here. This would be a good place where I can put keyboards because I generally would just take the, the wires off these and they're hardly, they're worthless pretty much for scrap. Those are some nice keyboards right there. Come get yourself a keyboard. There's a plunger daily bob for the back of a toilet. Brand new. Another router of some sort. Secure the toy for babies. Like, I'm gonna take these out of here. This little broken iPod. That's my keeper pile. More candles and candle vases. Another iPod. I thought I had sold all those. Guess not. Routers and modems. And Speakers, there's computer speaker sets they'll be in here. These are kind of worthless for scrap, so this will be a good place where I can put these. I find quite a bit of this. What is this? Nintendo DS. I didn't even know that was in there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell that on eBay, I guess. Uh, what are we doing with here? Kodak premium picture paper. Um, I might have to sell those on eBay too. I might put some of this stuff back in here, but. Ethernet cords, and it's gonna be some nice little electrical cords. A lot of them are brand new. Like I was saying, you know, I was building my own website, so this stuff is all really nice. Uh, there's a little game. Family Guy. 
something or other. Universal Media Disc. I don't know what that is. It's in a little Mad Cats package. I'm not sure what that is. There's a little Game Boy. I'm going to have to uh, try to sell that on eBay. It's smashed. See, some of the stuff I got a long time ago from a video game store that went out of business. And they had an industrial sized dumpster literally filled with this kind of stuff and broken uh, gaming consoles. And they smashed it all before they threw it away. See how it's been smashed? They gave each one like a pop. That one's got four or five pops. But like that iPod's been popped. That Nintendo DS looks real clean though. But, uh,. Little adapters of some sorts in here. I could take a lot of stuff to the scrapyard. I'll say Nintendo Game Boy Advance right there. Uh, I don't know if that got popped or not. Shot never even noticed that was in there. <laughs> Another iPod. It's looking nice too. I could have sworn I got rid of all those iPods already. I must have thrown them in here just because I was busy working or something. There's a little Sony PlayStation battery with a $30 ticker on it. I think that battery's puffed up though. I think that's garbage. Get that out of here. There's a little Nintendo DS game. Keep that. Little Panasonic discs of some sorts. I don't know. A little lost Jurassic VHS tape. Some Velcro. Attachment stuff. Okay, that's enough for that one. What do we got over here? I got some of these porcelain doll heads will be in here. Adapters. Seems like there's another set. Another set of computer speakers. This will be a good place where I can put this. This was a bookend set. Sylvester's ear got broken off. It should be around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. It's actually pretty nice if you super glue it back on. Uh, some kind of little music bullet type deal. That's not bad. Star Wars Battlefront. It's just an empty case. I'll put some empty video game cases in here if you want to have those. Some cheap DVDs. Nintendo DS. And that's a M&M's tin. It's actually got M&M's in it. I better not leave that in here. That could be disgusting. This is a free TV. Antenna, free airwave antenna. I have that. Like something like this, like 15 bucks at Walmart, you know. I find those all the time. Some of these packs of, uh, I'm not sure what they are. Sixspeed.com. I think they go on your car tires or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what those are. There's quite a few of those in here. I need to get through all this stuff. There's a spider in there. You can have all the spiders that are in here if you want. <laughs> Index cards. Old m, m guy. There's an Xbox in here. Sorry, folks, but I'm going to keep that one for now. I may put Xboxes in here once upon or one of these days, but for now, I'm going to keep them. Put some more packages of those deals, wherever they are. It's Xbox cord. All kinds of video game cases, CD cases. Some of these CDs or DVDs actually have DVDs in them. Most most of the video game cases will be empty. A lot of DVD cases will have the DVDs. Uh, more of those refrigerator magnets, home remedies for dummies, 
pet first aid kind of stuff. Here's a old school uh, curb indicator. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of the young people out there have seen those. You would stick this piece of metal in front of your tire off the edge of your car and it would scratch the curb so you can hear it. <laughs> Curve indicators, those are hilarious. <laughs> uh, some kind of real chunky power cord. I'm actually gonna take that for scrap. There's a plastic bag we can use. Okay, moving on. Mason jars. A Dallas Cowboy Bulldog. I don't know how to explain that. It might be like a Georgia Bulldog and they put the wrong uniform on him or something. There's some more index cards. Uh, first one, there's a little kid's book about animals. Brand new condition. Little flower faces, uh, flower pots will be in here. And, Mason jars, drink coaster deals, or like hot plates, I guess. Put hot stuff on. So candle holder. These little bottles. There's a pantry dealy thingy. This suitcase is really nice. It's got one of the wheels that's kind of messed up. There's a highlighter. It's still usable though, it's just so nice. I can smell it, it just smells brand new. It's got that new smell still. Make some jars, some decent little mugs in here. A lot of stuff might have to be cleaned up a little bit, but there's uh, some shades for a ceiling fan. This is a neat little deal, this little wood deal here. Not sure what it is exactly. Some kind of cradle or something. Like I was saying, I can put a lot of the clothes in here that I find that I normally just leave on the curb or whatever. I can put a lot of those clothes in here. I'll get, if this place works out, I'll get like a, a rod to put across here on the back and hang clothes and stuff. Let's see, we got some inline skate action. Those are not bad. This nice little jewelry box here. A lot of people wanted this on my YouTube video, but the problem is, is people say they want stuff, and I'll take a half hour to uh, mess around with it, and then they never, never get it. <laughs> like when I had my website, people would say they want stuff, and I would list it, and then they would never get it. And then people would come and watch the video again and come and say, I want this. And I'd be like, it's listed. And then they would never get it. Here's a lot of this for my $25,000 uh, fishing lure score. With some of this makeup in there. Some of this makeup in here is brand new. Uh, like I say, this stuff all came out of a dumpster. So you're aware of that fact. And you're essentially taking it out of the dumpster yourself if you take it from here so but this stuff is sealed up this makeup it's like mineral powders and uh, blusher or something or other and beauty bar oil free skin tone something or other There's like little things that like nail polish and ole and Some of this stuff may have been used. Uh, I don't think it's used. Those Q-tips in there are just brand new. So I don't know exactly what the deal is. Uh, this came from a, a Miss America pageant contestant or a state a state beauty pageant contestant. Anyways, this is what we figured out on that video. There's like this Avon stuff in here I found recently. One's an SPF sun protector, one's some kind of refining cream. I think those are like 10 or 15 dollars a pop. I'll put this stuff in here, it's a brand new full bottle of sunscreen. Uh, a bottle I found creek picking. 
Put that kind of stuff in here if you folks want that. This is an art set, I think. Let's see. Art or was it makeup or something? Pretty sure it was art, pencils and stuff. Yeah, look at that brand new case of that stuff. That's literally brand new. This was in with that fish and lure video as well. That video, just an unbelievable amount of stuff. <laughs> I'll link that video up down in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, what is this? I think this is just some kind of really nice. A bunch of brand new makeup in here. Sounds brand new makeup. Oh, Cinderella glass shoe. All kinds of lip glaze. It looks to be brand new. Put that over here. And I just decorative gift filler paper stuff. This is a neat little piggy, little piggy bank. <laughs> Everything in here came from that $25,000 video. It was fishing lures mixed in with some kind of beauty contestants. Swag. Got dumped or something. Uh, they might have been associated with that business that went out, that moved or whatever. There's a little, hey, there's one of my bungee cores. I thought I lost that. And then, uh, that's a DVD player. I'm gonna actually take that and see if it works. There's my keeper box. Little uh, Thai baby, Dealy Bobby. A DVD player or thing that got mauled somehow. The disc looks good still though. Uh, here are some little bags, I think. Brand new, I guess I'll just leave those alone. You might be able to bust those open and take them over there. Brand new pencils. Uh, nice little handbag. That's real nice, came from this lady. Uh, she's got a bag of belts in here. Whole bag of nice little belts. Nice condition on those. More pencils. Uh, oh, that's a broken printer in right there somehow. Hand, nice little handbag over here. Some little bottles of paint. More makeups. Paint brush. Something. <laughs> Brand new paint brush. Get this out of here, actually. Okay, two left. I saw a USB cord. I'm just gonna put this stuff out on the floor for now so people don't have to dig through the totes. This is a little picture, one of those digital picture frames. Put an SD card with your pictures in there and it shows them. Uh, actually, there's not an SD card in here. I can't see where it goes. I think that's what that is. Yeah, digital photo frame. I don't know if this one works or not. Oh, there it is. I know I had one of these that kind of worked. I don't know if this is it. I think this is a different one. That's nice. That's a Sony. Anyways, that's kind of stuff you take. And if it works, maybe just take it and figure out it works. If you want to come back and leave a dollar or something. Like I said, tip's optional. I mean, you can just straight out take this stuff. I got stuff to get rid of. I was making that website, that's caulking, stripping stuff, and not only did I, was I making that website that was jamming me up with all this stuff, that I also started making YouTube videos that started consuming a massive amount of my time, and between this, that's trying to build that site and YouTube, I just, I just need to get rid of this stuff. I just it just has me all blocked up there's a uh, fish aquarium air pump uh, some laptop um adapters there's a dell laptop adapter and uh i see some real nice usb cords in there and stuff 
I'm just gonna put that there. <laughs> There's another little paddle. Some of the paddles. I'm gonna take this fishing reel. It's gonna go with me. It's going in the keeper pile. More of the caulking strips. A little picture frame of a puppy. Woof woof. It's got bones on it. There's another calculator. Um, TI 83. I might have to put that in the keeper pile. Some of the keeper pile stuff might come back in here. Check it out though. This is not all nice uh, audio video cables. Brand new sealed up. A lot of this stuff. You could go to Walmart and buy for fifteen or twenty dollars, like a lot of these tours and stuff. And you try to sell it on eBay, and no one really wants it. You know, you can sell it for a few dollars because there's so much competition. There's a nice little calculator working good. There's a little camera lens, Vivitar. I'm gonna have to keep that actually. Uh, here's another one of those brand new Motorola modems. enough to open the box let's see if it's brand new oh, that one may have been used but it's really nice looking you can have that <clears throat> there's a little Panasonic SDR 550 a little handheld camcorder mm. it's pretty nice really you come have that if you want I don't know if it works or not you know what I mean another thing I don't want to deal with it's got some kind of funk on it another thing I don't want to deal with is having to test stuff out I just don't I just just doing that time and time again testing stuff out the, ver, the large variety of stuff that I have to test out you know just <laughs> having to learn everything about some item you know and blah 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 and then you sell it for five dollar profit it's just a little golf scope that's kind of neat i think that's like a little small little telescope type deal oh golf scope i think that's for measuring your shots that's kind of neat a little uh poncho chicago cubs poncho That is a bar for a ceiling fan, I do believe. Uh, we've got a variety of mouses in here. I don't know if you've got the right receivers or not. There's a neat little picture frame, little bird. Little remote controls. I'm actually gonna take those with me. Some pens, I don't know if they work. There's a there's a Dell mouse, corded mouse, sealed up in plastic. There's another little remote control. Some kind of neat little leather case. Brand new water faucet. Or hose, hose faucet. Some kind of glittery kind of goop. There'll be some of these splitters in here, cable splitters. Okay, let's move over here. I've got this uh, nice little laptop bag. It's nice. I talked about this already. Levi's shorts. Someone made. That's a little Star Wars guy from McDonald's, I think. This is where that came from. Not sure. Here's a little shaving kit or a travel kit a little man's travel kit it's got deodorant mouthwash toothpaste to toothbrush shaving shaving cream i assume there's a razor in there here's a, a u-line tape gun i've got enough tape guns for myself you can have that take the remote controls for now uh, i don't want to put stuff like that in here i just that could be dangerous like space heaters and, and uh, power bars and stuff. I'm just gonna keep scrapping those. I don't wanna be associated with it. Here's a neat little hook deal. These are cool. That's uh, Pier 1 Imports. That's got a 9.95 tag on it. I think it's for like a hummingbird feeder. 
or something or other. That's actually quite nice. Get these power strips out of here. Oh, coach's whistle. Hey, that works nice too. That's pretty slick, I like that. Power strip, get out of here. Bunch of little ponchos, more ponchos, ponchos. Wet ones. Some of this stuff came from that uh, prepper stash I found at that used car lot, I think. Wet ones. Some weird deals. Let's see what to call on. Here's some spark plugs, some AC Delco spark plugs, platinum spark plugs for cars. A couple cases of those, brand new. More cords. I'm gonna actually. Uh, I'll leave that here. A little radio sick. Uh, tape player. I think it's a micro cassette. Uh, no, it's a full size cassette. There's another one. Panasonic. That's full size cassette as well. I could sell those, but they're not gonna bring a whole lot of money. So I'm just really tired of listing massive amounts of small stuff. Just a total grind. Here, here's some there's some Farkle dice. <laughs> a couple packs of those. A bunch of packs of those. Got some erasers in here. Packs of erasers. More cord for stuff. There's a power cord. Brand new. There's another one of those deals. This little picture frame. It looks like a Pier 1 import dealy bob as well. Let me put those out here like that. And, uh, what do we got down here? That's a little. Actually, not. Get that out of here. Get a CD player or something. Let's just scrap that most likely. Yeah, I got some circuit boards in here. A little gold plated action. That's not bad. A little clay deal for flower plant, uh, plant pot. I got some ink tanks in here. Let's see. AM antenna, FM antenna maybe, that's a neat little knife, a oh, fish cleaning knife, that's not bad, a oh, fillet knife, the blade's just a tad beat up, but it's got a nice little leather sheath to it, it's not bad at all, some of this stuff's going to be a little dirty, like I said a few times, I just don't anyone having a problem with it because like what the when I bring clothes in here I'll probably just take them straight for the dumpster you know <laughs> bring them in here because they're usually super clean it's just people cleaning out their closets so basically everything in here is gonna be super clean and nice but there could be uh, some something I miss you know remote control a cat pee on it or something goofy <laughs> There's a little micro cassette player right there. Get rid of the micro cassette. Who knows what might be on that? Let's see. A little Rayovac. That's some kind of battery powder deal. I don't like the USB USB battery pack. I'll keep that. Uh, I don't know what that was. Some kind of remote. Too busy talking. Uh, earbuds in here. Little votive candles and whatnot. I'm actually gonna take this tote back with me, so dump that in there like that. Ah, that makes that makes it better. I can leave this tote in here. Like I said before, feel free to take these totes. Except these rubber-made ones. I want to keep those for myself. Okay, we'll put the tip jar over here on the right side for now. 
tip jars right there. What do you think about that? Um, it's kind of a mess right now, but hey, it's a free tail store, you know. Digging for stuff's half the fun. That's it for now. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's some kind of little autographed baseball bat back there. Little green glass pitcher's kind of neat. This bat, I don't know. I couldn't make it out. I think it's a AAA team or... That's from a bowling event from 2009. There's an Olympian signature on there. And... Some local stuff. And local cities around here. Not sure what it is. But anyways, okay. Oh yeah, the combination. <laughs> Gotta be careful with this combination. It's really close. I don't know why they make it so close. The first couple times I kept spinning it back and forth. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it's 20. Twenty-seven. Here's the tricky part. Twenty. Twenty, twenty-seven, twenty. On the last one, don't go all the way back around. Just move it seven notches. So it's twenty, twenty-seven, twenty. If you missed that earlier in the video, it's storage unit eighty-one. We'll call it the curb. Oh, I, I looked down online see if I can get freetail.com and it's one of those deals where someone's wanting thousands of dollars for the name so it's just lame <laughs> and it's spelled with one e uh, I think it might be the one that's worth thousands of dollars or it's trying to sell for thousands of dollars I think freetail with two e's someone already owns it and it's just a dead page they're not even using it but uh, that's kind of annoying As far as an entrepreneur's stance, buying up all those web names is kind of a good idea. But from the consumer's point, this will be at, a, at, a, at an angle, it'll sit on our sideways. So you might want to bring a flashlight if you're here at nighttime. See how, see how dim it is. Like maybe your phone or something will be good enough. But, uh, that's kind of lame trying to find a website name these days. Any name you want, basically, is going to cost you thousands of dollars, so it's just kind of lame. I'll put a Google map up of this place here in a bit. I hope you enjoy the curb. I hope you enjoy this video. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Johnson Mini Storage right here. It's on Wilkerson Street, the town of Johnson. Over here to the left, you see my cursor, that's Interstate 49. Over here to my right is South Thompson, old 71. South Thompson turns into college down in, well, actually, I think it turns into college right there as we go into Fayetteville. You turn west onto Main Drive off of Thompson. So now you're down here, and then you take a left on Wilkerson. And there it is right there, a couple blocks down on the right. This main drive goes all the way here. Turns into Johnson Mill Boulevard. I think it's exit 69. I could be wrong about that. I think that's 69 right there. It means it's exit 69. Either way, it's the Johnson exit, Johnson Mill Boulevard. There's in at the mill. That's a good landmark. It's not in a highly populated area, unfortunately, but it's easily accessible. That's just a couple minutes off Thompson, a couple minutes off the interstate. If you happen to be driving by and want to check it out, this is Lake Fayetteville over here. For those of you, I'm going to give you a good idea exactly where I'm talking about. It's Lake Fayetteville over here on the right. And zoom in one more time. That's the storage center right there. Thanks for watching again.